So today I'm going to show you how to graft tiny, tiny cactus seedlings, like these ones here. See this? And this little two-inch pot, they're about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch across. And we're going to graft those on top of this leafy cactus here, which is called Perez Cheopsis. I think it's native to Mexico or Brazil or somewhere. But it has leaves, so unlike most cacti. And you're going to graft the tiny cactus on top of it so that ultimately you're going to end up with something like this. The idea being that that little bobble head on the top there grows much faster than the seedling would on its own roots. It's very simple to do. You just need some simple household things like paper towels we've got here. We've got a one-sided razor blade, um, another paper towel, a scissors for cutting the leaves off the Pereschiopsis. You need rubber or rubbing alcohol to sterilize the um, to sterilize the razor blade, and then you also need another type of alcohol, which is a celebration ale, which you can drink as you're doing this process, make it fun. And the last thing you need then is some regular just kitchen cling film, um, which you cut it into tiny little strips, and I'll show you how to do all that now. First thing you do is you crack open the beer, have a quick swig, and we're off to the races. So, first thing you gotta do is take your razor blade, which is just a simple razor blade like this with the protective side on one side. You can buy these at the hardware store or in the paint department of the big box stores. Take some of this rubbing alcohol, which you can buy at the pharmacy, and just put that on your paper towel. And then you just rub the razor blade with that. And that sterilizes it, kills off any germs or bacteria, so that when you cut into your little tiny seedling cactus, you're not gonna transmit that infection from one plant to another. Okay, so the next thing to do then is to take these Paraschiopsis plants and cut them to the right size. I want them to be about this tall, which is about three inches tall, and I'm just gonna cut the top off with the scissors. And if I do that, I'm gonna be left with a cutting on the top, which I can root again and make more of these Paraschiopsis. So I chop that off like that, and then I'm gonna to need to remove these next leaves underneath that. One, two, Three, four. So that leaves plenty of leaves on this plant still, and it's freed up about a three quarters of an inch of space at the top of the stem there. That's what you're going to be, um, where you're going to be doing the grafting. It's very simple to do. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is cut some little squares of this um, cling film material. You just take your scissors, pull it, pull it out about uh, two inches from the box, and then with your scissors just cut little squares of that. So you're looking for a piece roughly that size. It doesn't need to be any bigger than like two by two inches. All right, so I'm just gonna put that on the edge of the table over here. And I'll need, you're gonna need one piece for each um, graft that you do. So cut those off. If you stretch it towards you, it's easier to cut it. Put those over here. So I'm going to continue to cut these uh, Paraschiopsis. I'm going to just take the top off one of them and the next one. And the last one, I'm just doing four of these today. But it's a fun thing to do. And as you can see, each plant has several leaves at the bottom. So they've got lots of leaves to make photosynthesis. Now, afterwards, you've got these cuttings. So you take the lower leaves off these cuttings, like just take uh, leave about a half inch of bare stem at the bottom, and then those will root very easily later when you put them in a little pot with some soil. Okay, going back to the Paraschiopsis here, make sure that you've cut off the top few leaves so that you've got at least three quarters of an inch of bare stem at the top. There's also nasty little spines that can be produced by these Paraschiopsis depending on where they're grown. If they're grown in the greenhouse outside, they will be um, very spiny. If you grow them under lights or indoors, they'll have fewer spines. But anyway, cut those leaves off until you've got a little bit of bare stem at the top. And it's important when you're doing these processes that you do all the same process at the same time. So you just, you don't do the grafting where you cut the leaves off the Paraschiopsis and then move on to immediately grafting that. No, prepare all the Paraschiopsis first and then prepare all the grafts next 
and then do all the grafting one after another. So you, you're always doing the same process at the same time, instead of going from one process to the next, one process to the next, one process to the next five times. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is prepare the little seedlings. Uh, another thing I forgot to tell you about is we're going to need these things, which you've probably seen before. They're little clips. They're like the ones that are used for holding orchid stems onto the little bamboo cane that they come with. They're a super help. They're much more compact than clothes pegs. They don't cause the plant to fall over when you clip them on. And uh, you can buy these very inexpensively on Amazon. Okay, so here's what we're going to be grafting. These are these tiny little seedlings of a Mammillaria. It's Mammillaria schumanii. I just happened to grow that one from seed. So what I like to do is just to take the seedling out of the pot here and clean all the dirt off it using my fingers so there's no dirt left on the tiny seedling. There it is. I don't know if you can see that there. Tiny little seedling at the bottom. There we are. And I'm just going to put this on the paper towel right down here. Now, because I've got four of these grafts to do right now, I'm going to prepare four seedlings by just pulling off the root. You don't need the root anymore because you're going to be cutting that off. But you also want to try and get as much of the soil off as you can. So I clear that off, pop it down on the paper towel. And here's the next one. And you can just lift those out with a pencil or with your fingers and just gently brush off the dirt. Okay, there's three. And here's the last one, the fourth one. Pinch off all that little bit of dirt that's there. And do whatever it takes to get the dirt off. Just brush it with your fingers, blow on it, rub it on the paper towel. Okay, so there's four little seedlings right down here. So now what I'll do is I'll just sort of gently rub them on the paper towel a bit to get those cleaner. This really helps because if you're trying to do this one at a time and there's dirt involved, it'll be a real mess. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut the seedling. So there it is on the paper towel. I pick it up with my, between my thumb and forefinger. You can see it there. And I'm going to cut off the root end. I'm going to cut it around the equator of the plant so that it's around the fattest part of it. So that you've got a nice big fat piece that sits on top of the razor blade. Just like that, right? The other piece was underneath the razor blade and it's going to be brushed away. Okay, so there. There's your little seedling right on top of the razor blade. Then you bring over your trusty Paraskiopsis. And what I'm going to do now is cut a little tiny slice off the very top of that to give us a brand new fresh wound there. And just cut it against your finger again. It's not going to cut you if you do it gently. Lift that piece off. And then you can just slide your, put your blade there and slide the little plant, the little tiny seedling right on top of that. And you can push it into the place where it's more or less in the middle. Don't worry too much about trying to get it all aligned with the cambial rings and any of that stuff. Most of the time, the seedling, if it's the same, roughly the same diameter as the stem of the Paresky opposite, it'll be just fine. So then you take a little piece of your cling film that you've had um, cut into the two inch square and you gently put that over the top of the seedling. So this is where that goes. Just gently let it fall over it like that, and then you sort of mold it down over the stem. And now it's giving you a nice downward pressure on that little tiny grafted piece, and that'll make it nice and snug. And it'll stop it drying out as well. That's the main purpose of that little cling film stuff. It puts downward pressure on it and stops it drying out. Now, if you want to do the whole belt and suspenders thing, put an orchid clip on as well, and it won't fall off on you. So that's, um, how it's done. Now we're going to move this to the place where I grow these plants for the next several weeks. Okay, so here is my cactus workshop in the garage. It's um, just a bank of fluorescent lights and as you can see there's lots of different Paraskiopsis growing here and all sorts of little cacti grafted on top of them. So let me show you what the lamps are. The lamps are these high output T5 lamps. They're four feet long and there's two of them in each um, rack. 
they're just like um, standard ordinary fluorescent bulbs but they're called high output so they give extra light and they're just a regular warm white or cool white color you don't have to get any special ones for uh, for garden for plants or anything so here's the Pereschiopsis that grows happily underneath the light as you can see they're about 10 inches or 12 inches below the light and when the plants are growing happily and they've already been grafted for a week or so there are some of the little seedlings you see tiny teeny seedlings it's a little echinocerius there occasionally some of them fail and they fall off so that's one that's gone and let me show you over here here's the cacti that are just growing from seed the tiny seedlings and they're also growing under the lights but they're growing really slowly here's a whole bunch of echinocerius tiny seedlings um, here's some trichocerius seedlings and then over here are some uh, Ariocarpus seedlings that I grafted a couple of months ago. So let's see now, I sowed those in October, grafted them uh, around Thanksgiving, the 20th, something, 20th of uh, November. And they've gotten quite big now and they're, they're growing in well. Okay, so where do I put these? Um, the plants that are newly grafted, um, I put them away from the light. So I'll put them down lower down here where there isn't a light shining on them and they'll stay down there for maybe a week or so and then I'll take the little clips and the plastic saran wrap cling film material off the top of them and then they'll be placed underneath the lights so here's some that uh, I put out about a week ago and in the back there there's some that have been uh, grafted a good long time ago those are uh, Fralias, Fralia Magnifica over here I grew some Trichocerius early in the year and they're loving it they grow very fast and of course the problem then is are they going to grow too big um, so that they crash into the lights so what you can do is move them to another part of the the shelves where there's a little bit more space between them and the lights so here's some trichocerius and other echinopsis that have been uh, placed a good bit lower than the lights and they're really happy here I feed them with a, a dilute liquid feed every few every week or so so there's some, uh, even something in flower there that's a Camasurius hybrid. But um, they're all really happy. And they'll be moved outside to the greenhouse when it warms up a bit outside. They'll be slowly acclimatized by putting them underneath shade cloth outside, gradually getting used to the sunshine in the greenhouse. All right, so that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you can grow tiny seedlings into really quite decent sized plants in a very short amount of time. If you have this light set up and you graft the seedlings onto Pereschiopsis, which is a real workhorse of a plant for getting tiny seedlings to get bigger. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, look out for some more. Thanks.